happen. After a year of planning, preparation, and hoping, we were ready to leave on our greatest adventure yet. In all, we would travel 2,200 miles in 11 days. 23 scouts and 4 adults, all of whom you just saw a moment ago, boarded the bus which would take us to Rocky Mountain National Park. But for the next few minutes, you'll see some of the things we did on the way out and back. Included, uh, well, that is, we could, at any rate, each morning we check out the bus and then load up for another day's travel. Lunches on the road were usually at a city park or some similar place. had other things we could do to while away the stop. On the other hand, there were so many things to do in Lusk, Wyoming, we took extra time to do them. The first night there, we were joined by Troop 282, also from St. Louis Park, as we went into the Wyoming back country. Here we are looking at the ruts made by the stagecoach when it carried gold from the Black Hills to Cheyenne. a few hundred cattle guards, he came to an unusual grave marker, that of Mother Featherleg's shepherd. She ran a hotel here on the stage line and was also a friend of many outlaws. She was murdered in 1879 during a holdup. Her hosts in Lusk were Bob and Evelyn Vollmer and were really great at explaining all about this area. An unusual monument to a true flower of the Old West. Beside her are buried the stage drivers who were killed in the same holdup. Another unusual area is one which was inhabited hundreds of years ago by Indians. It is rumored that you can pick up arrowheads all over the place. Well, that's not exactly true, but a few of the scouts did find some. aren't to your liking, then head out toward Mule Creek Junction, take the cut off through Redbird, and you'll come to a big shale hill where it is rumored you can find fossils all over the place. That rumor was true. Dinosaur bones, turtle shells, and petrified wood were the major discoveries. Thank you. 
south out of Wyoming into Colorado. Everyone was glad to be there, but some got a little carried away. One of the more scenic rides we had was up the Big Thompson River Canyon as we entered the Rocky Mountains. Unfortunately, not everyone saw Alcina. Hills, mostly to see Mount Rushmore. You have to admit, we really move along when we want to. What trip through South Dakota would be complete without a stop at the world's most famous TRO, Tourist Ripoff? 